Hi, my name is Chuck Devanji. I'm an instructor for this this online Math 99 course that you that you are taking here at Wacom Community College this winter. And I just want to do a quick introduction to the uh, to the course to the to to really the shell, the thing that we're using for the course. So um, you've gotten this far, so good job. And here's the structure. This this uh, this will only be here. This starting the course. You've already read this because you started this video. Uh, this text will always be here. So uh, the weeks will appear as we get further on in the course, kind of the modules like this. And let's start looking at announcements. And as you look at the announcements, um, this will these will update at least weekly. Um, you've already read this probably. We'll talk about what these things like the practice quiz and the introductory quiz, uh, what those what those mean in a little bit. So you can always click on these, you know, um, <clears throat> to expand them or to uh, to compress them. If you look under resources, here's I have the syllabus. Um, take a look at both the syllabus and the calendar. What I really want you to do is, uh, you know, be familiar with what I expect for the course and that sort of thing, um, and when things are going to happen. Here's contact info for me. There's my email at the college. You can use the email through through WAMAP. And you can read this at your leisure. I just want to point out a couple of things. Um, we have a couple of face-to-face -face exams that we have to do. So you will need to come in uh, to the college. And they're happening on these dates in these places. Uh, and this tells you what they're going to cover. Um, and as we get closer to them, we'll talk about the types of calculators to, to do. So you do need to attend both of these. Um, contact me if you need if you have any questions about that. Also, uh, we will have two additional exams, one and three, and they'll, they'll both be online. Uh, they'll, you'll have a good chunk of time to work on them. You'll need a, a calculator, graphing calculator. You can, are not going to be able to use your phone for the for the um, face to face. The calendar, I'll show you in a little bit. Um, here's percentages, that sort of thing. Here's categories. So we have a couple things. Um, we have our exams and the midterm. That's 45% of the grade. The final uh, is 25% of the grade. Practice quizzes and forms are 10%, and uh, time quizzes are, are 20%, as you can see. I want to get down here to quizzes and talk a little bit about this. Uh, practice quizzes, they're not timed, but you just you have a whole week to do them. Um, and you get up to four attempts on each question. So feel comfortable with the material, and then go and give those a try. Time quizzes are two hours long. It's, it's much more than you should need to do it. Um, but make sure that it's it's going to be a one sitting, so you're ready for that. And as soon as you click on it, clock starts running, um, and you have three attempts for problems on those time quizzes. And there's some stuff about the time and that sort of thing. Lots of other things on the syllabus to take a peek at. Um, <clears throat> if you uh, know where the math center is, or if you don't, I can help you with it. Math center is a good resource. You can arrange times to meet with me as well. I'm not on campus a lot, um, so. That is something that we will need to arrange if you want to. Taking a look at the calendar, really important. Um, so here is the calendar for for the whole course. This is uh, these dates, uh, 7.1. These these are recommended for the days uh, that you do this work. Uh, I'm not going to collect the homework. I'm not going to look at it at all. So the things that are bold are things that are due and when they're due. So you'll have form entries that you do. If you'll notice that you have a form entry um, and an introduction to yourself, um, a form entry and an introduction to yourself, those are both due on the seventh. So we have practice quizzes. Those will be open at the start of the week and due at the end of the week. There's actually one missing here. There's going to be a practice quiz due on this fourth. Um, and then the time quiz, I make it available on Friday. You could do it on Friday if you want, or you could do it any time up till the end of the day on the following Monday. Exams are on here as well. These are these are uh, these are not going to move unless something really strange happens. Uh, some other fixed dates: that midterm on site, that day, that time, that place. Make sure that you're there, as well as the final. Um, same thing. So there's that calendar. You can print it out. If I have to change anything, it would be a really rare exception, and I will only um, I'll give you lots of heads up if I have to change something on that. So there's resources. So um, there's also a calendar. And if I click on it now, I'm, I'm looking in student view. If I click on the calendar now, it it's pretty light, the things that are on there, just because that's that's your view. And these kind of come out at certain times. Um, but 
if I look at the instructor view for the calendar, you'll just be able to see more. They will show up later on. Um, these things are things that are due, and it shows you when they're when they're due. And then these are the recommended times to work on those topics. So uh, we're in the getting started. You've already been in here because you've taken a look at the, at the structure of the course and that sort of thing. Make sure you take a look at syllabus and calendar. Make sure you take a look at this part as well. I want you to investigate everything in here. On, whoops, on this section, these weeks will roll out uh, at least a week ahead of time. And the week just tells you what you need to get done. So you, you're going to work on everything and getting started right away. Also, get started on, on the week one stuff. Um, I'll have each section on here. There's a lecture, so this it'll be just like this, me talking at you this way. Um, there's a link to the textbook, and then there's also the homework, what I think are good, good question problems. And then these, if needed, are just additional resources that uh, people have shown me or that I found in that sort of thing. And then quizzes and forums. These are the things that you'll need to um, do. These are things that are graded. And right now, if you'll notice, there's, there's nothing there because these come out when they're available. So I'm going to flip over to instructor view and look at quizzes and forums so you'll have a better view of what it looks like. So practice quizzes tells you when it's available, when it needs to be done by, some information about it. Uh, a forum introduction, which all I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself, um, that sort of thing. There's an introductory quiz I need you to take as well by that certain time. So practice quizzes, open all, open all week. You get a lot of time on them. There is no time quiz this week, but time quiz open on Friday through the next Monday. Um, I just want to show you another week that's going to have a little more weed in it, meat in it. So if I look at week two, notice it has each of these sections that we'll work on for that week, and then the quizzes and forums as well. So in here, same thing. When you expand this, it's going to have the textbook link. It's going to have the lecture link, all of that. And then if you need to get it done that week, uh, it's on here with the question and the type of, uh, and when it's due as well. All right. Um, those will, like I said, show up in the calendar um, as they become available for the course. Um, if you look over here also in messages, I'm going to go back to student view. If you look over here in messages, um, if you want to send me an email, you can send it through here, um, in this, or you can send it to my Wacom account as well. As it says on the syllabus, forums are here. You'll have posts in the forums, that sort of thing too. So that's a quick like how to get around, and I'm really looking forward to uh, to working with you this quarter. Please email me if you have questions or if you're struggling or anything like that. If you have a question about a certain problem, I'm happy to make a video and post it for you as well. All right, look forward to meeting you.